Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Masters. Today, we're bringing you news about Call of Duty World War II. If you play on PC, you can start preloading the game right now on Steam. I'm doing it as we speak. Uh, the game is divided into two sections, multiplayer and single player campaign. You can download or preload one, or you can preload both. Uh, you can queue it up to where you can do both. Um, that's what I have it set up to do. I've got about another minute and, well, almost two minutes left on the multiplayer. It's going to switch over to the single player. Um, there's been a couple other uh, news items on World War II in regard to the PC as well. Something that I think any dedicated PC player is going to cheer about. There will be no aim assist for controllers on the PC version of Call of Duty World War II. It's about time that one of the manufacturers woke up and realized that people were taking advantage of this. I understand there are people that like to play with controller on PC. Uh, you can still do that, but you are not going to have aim assist. Unfortunately, there are people in the PC community that abuse it. They'll plug in a uh, controller on some of the versions, and then it gives them aim assist with their keyboard and mouse. Other times, they'll plug in a keyboard and mouse into a Zim fork and then plug that into uh, their PC and then other times there's just software that you can put in that will make the uh, game believe that your keyboard and mouse is a controller and then they'd have aim assist in playing that's gone and you know you can't beat that uh, sledgehammer so far I have to admit I have a lot of hope for this version on PC it looks like they're actually listening to the PC community they're trying to make improvements that matter to us the only two things right now that I would love to see that they haven't done I'd love to see ping numbers which we don't currently have um, but you know it shouldn't be that hard to implement if they choose to later on down the road and truthfully if you're looking at something for the start of the game, I'd rather have the no aim assist uh, implemented than to have them put ping numbers in and allow the aim assist to start. Uh, the other thing they're looking at is they're saying they're going to start banning cheaters, the aim botters, the wall hackers, and all that on day one. This is not going to be another infinite warfare instance where they don't have anything there. Um, this is going to get done really, really, really quickly you can't beat what they're doing so far in regard to the support that they're showing that being said you know it, it time will tell um, but so far so good I'd love to see a couple larger maps we won't know obviously until we're able to uh, play the game but still it would be uh, it would be great if if we see a couple larger maps for the snipers out there um, I think sniping on PC is going to be a lot more realistic this year considering that you don't have the aim assist with the controller uh, kids out there because with that it just made sniper rifles a little bit uh, overpowered at times versus uh, regular PC players because you could instantly quick scope and it's already snapped on your target and as everybody knows with a sniper rifle it's a one shot kill so um, it'll be nice to uh, be going keyboard to keyboard and mouse to mouse now um, keyboard and mouse don't get me wrong it's a better aiming system but with a sniper rifle if the aim assist is too strong on a controller it will uh, give the controller user a potential advantage that being said folks I wanted to let everybody know that Call of Duty World War 2 on PC is capable of being preloaded um, I have the multiplayer done now as you can see it's on one of two which means one of mine is complete the second one started um, guys get it downloaded get in game on the third I took the entire weekend off I'm looking forward to grinding it out and seeing what's in the game so far this year looks to be very very promising we'll talk to you later guys thanks a lot if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe uh, we're going to be bringing you lots of stuff how to tech uh, questions reviews on hardware um, plus obviously we're going to have some gaming footage from uh, cod world war ii and some other games as well thanks a lot guys bye